Hey YouTube, good morning. Well, I should say good afternoon. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. I've been posting my shorts, but I haven't had a sit down, like proper, proper, proper video with you guys in a minute. I'm in my car right now. I am about to go to the gym. I'll show you guys the gym. Like literally, look. Oh, you can't even see. Yes, Planet Fitness right there. Right. I've done a lot of different content on my channel. A lot of you guys have followed me also for my nursing content. I did a video on me reviewing for and getting a job in the NICU about how I studied for the NCLEX, what are the things I did, how my NCLEX were, um, experience was are new to my channel my name is Shanika I am a registered nurse I currently work in the NICU which is the neonatal intensive care unit um, and here on my channel I talk about all things nursing I talk, talk about all things beauty I talk about just lifestyle and I share my life and I share my experiences okay so let's get into it so I have officially been working I want to get closer to you guys like I feel like you're so far this is like a girl trap. Okay, I'm gonna just hold the phone. Okay, so I have been working officially for a year and I think eight months. So almost two years. Like, I still feel like a new grad. Like, I, I'm still like a junior nurse. Like, I am in no way you know like an expert like i feel like one thing with nursing you're always gonna continue to be a learner you're always gonna be learning but it feels like i've only been there for like eight months or a year like i i can't believe it but despite that i have a lot of things to say um this video is not really structured i'm kind of like just doing it on a whim um i really enjoy working in the NICU so if you guys are not familiar the NICU is working with um babies premature babies um so your the typical textbook you're considered to be term at 40 weeks and with with babies be, being born preterm like obviously there's complications so they get admitted to the nicu um and i work at a level three nicu typically 20 born i think 28 weeks or less like we can see so we see like uh, um, what we call micro prams, which are like 25 weeks, 24, 25 weeks. We see nano prams, like we see really small babies. Um, and I just gonna talk about like my experience. So when I first started off there as a nurse, what I really loved about working in the NICU is hands down first first of all for me it's the patients like number one I, like when i ask when i'm asked like why do you want to work here or why do you still work here it's because of the babies like it's really big that it's really that simple like i've worked with adults in the past as a student i've worked with adults i've worked in long-term care and i've seen it and i just my heart just didn't belong there like it wasn't until I got my experience working in the NICU I was fortunate enough to consolidate in the NICU and um it was actually I was on peds and um the NICU so my preceptor did both so I got experience in both and my heart just gravitated towards the babies period so I just knew that's where I sh I would apply um I ended up applying to a lot of different places but I think my heart just wanted NICU more so when I automatically got like a job offer at a Nick at the NICU that I work at um, the unit that I work at I took it what really drew me to that um, to where I work now is the fact that we offered a three-month orientation this is like almost unheard of sometimes they don't train you for that long and so for three months it was actually a little bit more than three months I was paired up with somebody a buddy um a mentor someone that I um trained me like during my orientation and that was so helpful um to know that I had that support for three months before I was out on my own and then when I was on my own they only gave me like assignments that were usually kind of like stable CPAP babies They're, they wouldn't give me the unstable babies right away which is what I which is which is great because as a new grad you're really trying to get a grasp of yourself you're trying to like you're still trying to learn how to be a nurse first of all like 
you bear, like in school when i look back i don't even think i had that many classes on babies and we how we talked a little bit about mother and baby like when we had the mat child unit but we didn't talk about neonates so this was still like even though i consolidated on nick that in the nicu unit it was it was a level two number one so it was mainly focused on feeder and growers we weren't working with babies that were on much respiratory support and as a student it was very different going from being a student like I, as a student when I, during my consolidation i didn't do shit let's just be honest i didn't do shit I just watched like I feel like my preceptor didn't really give me the ability to do more than that maybe because she doesn't she wasn't comfortable or whatever I, I basically didn't have any experience like really and truly like my experience was very minimal it just gave me like the experience that I had to be completely honest felt like the old I felt like it was just a little bit of something to get me get my foot in the door just a little bit of something to spruce up my resume you know like across my resume i stood out a little bit because i had that experience consolidating and there was that initial interest there but other than that like i had no experience like i had no idea what it was like to work with like a 25 weeker i no. so if you don't have any experience and you want to work in the nicu don't let your lack of experience stop you like just try to do things to um just still apply and try to show interest in your interview that and tell them why you're interested and she really made my experience there really comfortable like i was i was fortunate enough to have a really good preceptor and i was very comfortable um working with her explaining like things that i were i was uncomfortable about sharing that with her and we would review it i had a lot of anxiety i had a lot of anxiety and it wasn't due to really anyone i think it was just a lot of things going on a lot of things at play i feel like when you're a new grad you get a lot you, we, we talk about it like this new grad anxiety you know anxiety as a new nurse and i felt like i definitely did have that um as of right now like i don't like, but it's definitely gotten a lot better over time the it's so different what people need to realize is it's so different from being a student and having to wake up early to go to clinical versus being uh being independent nurse on your own and going to work like it's different because the workload in itself is different right the workload in itself is different um you know before you would have maybe breaks to to like kind of um debrief with your clinical instructor or something you wouldn't have like a full patient load now you're getting like a full patient load you're on your own you have all those external stresses you're working with families all these things and so that's just another layer onto it so it was definitely um it's definitely like a transition. And so I think that contributed to my anxiety, just trying to learn how to navigate those things. The thing that happened to me is I got sick a lot and I think it's because it was due to stress. I think it, a lot of it was due to stress. It was a lot of it due to me being in a new, like clinical environment, a new hospital environment where there's lots of germs. My immune system is not um, used to it so i really would advise like advice for new nurses was to really take care of yourself yourself like really try to get enough rest on your days off really try to um eat eat healthy i wasn't eating properly too that was a big thing i lost a lot of weight in my first year of nursing um again because i just i didn't know I didn't know how to properly fuel myself and you're working 12 hour shifts you need to properly fuel your body so that's literally what i i learned like i literally wouldn't bring enough food I, I think to fuel me and i wouldn't bring the right types of food i didn't bring foods that are high in protein so you need lots of carbs carbs and foods that are high in protein other thing is uh, night shifts night shifts were so hard for me to adjust to like i'm a little bit better at the night shifts like i feel like nights are a little bit more chill right like it's a little bit more chill so i kind of like that it's compared to days so it's still hard um to stay up so I, I can make another video giving you guys like little tips but these are things that like uh, challenges that i st i struggled with as a new grad nurse right
But despite all these challenges, I really do still love working with the babies. Working in the NICU, it's new every single day. You work with families, um, uh, and you're in, you're playing a role into people's lives in one of the most sometimes like probably one of the most important and the most scariest and the most unexpected no one expects to have a baby early okay no one goes in and wants to have like a premature baby everyone once they find out they're pregnant they they their goal is to carry the baby um to full term and have a he happy healthy pregnancy so you're playing a role in their lives in like a really vulnerable time that's, that's really important to me to remember and remind to myself went from that person that had so much anxiety um so many questions to really feeling more sure of myself definitely seen a change in myself um in the way that you know like i i mentioned before certain things that i did wrong like not managing my health not prioritizing that i've learned from that and it's made my experience so much more enjoyable and i've definitely seen myself grow i've seen my confidence grow i had anyways this was literally just like a ramble on i don't like doing videos like this because i need structure but i just really wanted to post something for you guys so comment below literally ask me questions so that i can answer them in another video so ask me questions so I can answer them in another video and have more structure. This was just like a ramble on about like, I don't know, God knows what. But I'm going to go to the gym now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.